shock. Archie's teacher provided indisputable evidence that Megan is not his true mother. PTA auditors. The truth is gradually coming out. I am beyond thrilled that Megan's children are being exposed to be what they are. Megan and Harry are in a frenzy as a result of the hundreds of pieces of evidence that are being shared on social media. Recently, a number of Archie's school's instructors started disputing Megan's apparent falsehoods. She gave birth to Archie. Ridiculous. Samantha Markle, Meghan Markle's half-sister, has already questioned if Archie Harrison and Lilibet Diana ever existed. Samantha discussed logical theories that claim Archie and Lily do not even exist with Nick Ferrari on LBC on Friday. She continued by saying that not even their father, Thomas Markle, had seen the kid's complete features. Of course he's unhappy as a grandfather, she remarked. He's eager to see the kids. You want to make sure your kids are content. These are your children. The Duchess of Sussex's half-sister subsequently spread false aggregation news, alleging the non-existence of infants. These two things. She didn't actually say that. My father has only seen a little portion of Archie's face, Samantha remarked. No one, not even my dad, has seen those kids. And from what I hear, neither has the royal family. And you know that royal journalists would have caught up on it like flies on flypaper, so to speak, or bees to honey. Nobody has ever seen the kids' complete faces. Both the American and British populations would be interested in seeing that. If these kids had been seen, the entire world would have come together to celebrate them. Also, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have received a warning. When interest in them quickly wanes, they'll find it difficult to land significant invites. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who resigned from royal responsibilities in March 2020, have seen a major decrease in popularity. The royal pair is expected to follow in the lines of Wallace Simpson and Edward V.E., according to royal biographer Nicholas Owen. The man spoke to Sky News Australia. Due to the manner they arrived on the scene with the well-known interview with Oprah Winfrey, there was a lot of interest in them at the beginning of the course. They will, however, find it much more challenging to obtain an invitation after the initial euphoria has subsided. It's quite tragic and serves as a horrific reminder of the 1930s, when Edward VIII abdicated the kingdom in order to wed an American divorcee. The large invites eventually dried up, leaving them feeling very alone. And I'm concerned the same thing seems to be occurring all over again. That happens at the same time that Harry and Meghan made public their email contact with the King's office over their attendance at the coronation or lack thereof. It was uncertain if Harry and Meghan would be invited to the event on May the 6th, after the release of Harry's contentious book, Spare. The Archbishop of Canterbury will preside over the coronation of the King and the Queen Consort on Saturday morning at Westminster Abbey.